So here's the situation. So as my due date has been getting nearer and nearer, I have been starting to prep for the baby. Maybe you're like, hey Tara, you already have two kids. You already know everything. And I'd be like, are you crazy? So I've been looking up like lists and things of baby must have, the things you need for baby, what to put in your hospital bag. And some of them are a little bit ridiculous. So let's just take a little look at some of these lists, shall we? Obviously Pinterest is the place to go. They have everything on Pinterest. I've been wanting to get my hospital bag ready. I am like six weeks out, people, so close. So here's a list of hospital bag must-haves. This girl, I really like her list. It, she has a couple of high maintenance things, but a couple of things I'm like, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. So the number one thing, your bag, it should be like pretty big, like oversized so that there's enough space for things that you bring plus things that you're gonna be taking home after you have a baby, right? Button down sleep shirts. I like this one. I didn't ever really, I just always had like t-shirty stuff on, but button downs are important, especially if you're gonna be nursing. Nursing bras are definitely important. I hate buying nursing bras so much. Like I have, I've had some for my last two that I've just kept, and they weren't even nursing bras, but I think this time around I'm gonna have to buy an actual one. <sighs> They're just so expensive. I just don't like it. All, ever. This girl says bobby pins. We don't all need bobby pins. Jersey knit robe. A lot of people have um, robes on their list of uh, hospital bags. I do want to have a robe, but I have yet to find the perfect robe. Do you guys have a robe that you love? Put it below in the comments so I know because I need help with my robe hunting. Slippers. I have like my moccasins that I wear. I don't think they're like technically slippers, but I'll probably bring those because you want like slip on something, whether it's slippers or shoes, you're gonna want some slip on shoes. Okay, I don't know if this is a new thing or something, but an abdominal, a, abdominal wrap? I know this is not a new thing. It's been around for a long time, but I've never actually used an abdominal, well, I cannot say that word. I've never actually used an abdominal wrap, but I wouldn't be against trying it. I mean, who doesn't wanna like shrink down their waist faster and I think that's supposed to be helping what it is. And this girl also says that it helps when you have a C-section to keep your like stitches and everything together. Grippy socks, mm, I don't know. I don't wanna bring like a million, I don't wanna bring like flip flops, slippers and grippy socks. Like I'm just gonna bring normal socks, I think. And I think the hospital gives you socks. Um, so I don't know, I'm not gonna include that on my list. Hair accessories, I mean, I'm gonna bring some hair ties, but that's probably about it for my hair. I'm not gonna try and like be a crazy cute when I'm in the hospital. Make, okay, so makeup bag is the next thing. I'm gonna bring my makeup bag, but no, I can't lie. I'm probably gonna put makeup on when I'm in the hospital. I can't, sometimes I just can't go without makeup, especially if there's gonna be lots of visitors. Chapstick, I need chapstick constantly. I need some chapstick right now. Travel mirror, she's like, she's saying like, a travel mirror to have on your bedside table to like check up on yourself if someone's coming. I probably won't do that. Body lotion, probably smart. Zoom body soap, I don't even know what that is. But soap would probably be a good idea. Colace, I don't even know what that is. Used to treat occasional constipation. Mm. My hospitals always gave me some stool softeners though, so. But yeah, sorry if that's TMI, you might need stuff like that when you have a baby. Hello, so last time, I think I brought pillows for, um, for Piper's delivery and this could probably be this could probably be labeled as like high maintenance, but I'm gonna say yes on the pillow. It's just a comfort thing, and when you are in that much pain, you just want as much comfort from home as you can get. Sleep mask and earplugs. I mean, I'm not gonna need this. I've never used a sleep mask in my life. Or earplugs for sleeping. Towels, Ugh, again. They have towels there, but you know how they are, they're like all scratchy and too small, and so if you have room in your bag for towels, go ahead, put them in. Water bottle, I will definitely be bringing my own water bottle to fill up, except they always have like tons of ice and tons of water there, and they usually have uh, like styrofoam cups or something to fill it up in, so if you don't bring a water bottle, don't freak out. Prenatals, I am so bad at taking my prenatals, people and I feel guilty every single time anyone asks me. Pistachios, that's a great idea. I love pistachios. Is it necessary? I don't know, it goes under the snacks category. Bring whatever snacks you want. Apparently this girl loves instant oatmeal, dried fruit, peanut butter, and pineapple juice, but, she, oh this is cool, she says pineapple juice helps bring your milk in for nursing moms. I might have to try that, plus pineapple juice is Amazing, I love pineapple juice. Okay, so we are gonna want your phone and charger and your camera and charger. 
Bluetooth speaker. Don't bring a Bluetooth speaker. You have your phone, your phone has speakers on it, that's enough. You want, you don't wanna bring like more stuff than you need. You just don't. And Bluetooth speaker, that's way too, that's over the top. A power strip. I actually do like this idea of a power strip because like nowadays we have so many electronics and then you never know what hospitals will have as far as outlets go. You don't want your husband like having to like plug his phone in in another room or in the hall or something just to get charged up, so. It might be a good idea. Mother's milk tea, a soothing tea. Again, like, I don't need things like that. I just, a feeding pillow. So some people are obsessed with those boppy pillows and they like swear by them, but I've tried to use mine with both of my kids and I just like, maybe it's like cause my torso is so short when I use the boppy, it's like, I don't know. I never really got into the boppy. Mittens for the baby, yes, you need those because their poor little faces get scratched by their cute little fingernails. We're going home. Obviously, I'm gonna have hats and socks and everything warm for the baby. I'll probably have him in like a super warm, cozy pajama. She says an outfit for you. Make sure to bring some comfy maternity clothes or a nursing outfit like this. I really like the idea of bringing maternity, maternity clothes to go home in because it's gonna be like really tempting to bring your old clothes, but you don't wanna feel sad on your way home. You wanna feel happy. And part of that is just fitting into whatever clothes you can fit in. I like that idea a lot. Obviously you need a car seat. She says she has a car shade on her list. I don't, I've never had a car shade for my kids or anything. On, on, our, on our car seat it has like the shade that kind of goes over the car seat that's attached to the car seat. But the cool thing about mine is it can like it can shift to the front or the back, so no matter like where the sun is coming from in the car, I can move it forward if it's coming from the back of the car, or I can move it, you know, wherever I need it. So I really like our, our car seat. It's a baby trend car seat that we've had since Porter, so. Yeah, I probably should check on that. Did you know that car seats and things can expire? I didn't know that. Dang, ours is probably expired. We'll probably need a new one. Anyway, as far as your bag for the hospital goes, I'm kind of torn between having too much stuff and just taking what you need because it's a very uh, critical moment in your life and if nothing hinges on having your pillow, your own pillow or not having your pillow, but it just helps. Some of the high maintenance things that I'm definitely gonna bring, probably my own pillow, probably my a blanket of my own, probably too many electronics. Um, definitely not speakers though. But yeah, as far as taking care of myself, it's tricky, it's tricky business figuring out what you need in your hospital bag. But I'm really excited because as I look up these things, like what you wanna bring for your baby and what you wanna like have all set up for your baby, it's super exciting and I just can't wait for our baby to get here. He's gonna be so cute. Ah, new babies are really the best. It's, it's like weird that there's Christmas right now because I wanna focus on Christmas for the vlog and also just in life I wanted to focus on Christmas and not the baby but I have to do both at the same time so I guess it's a really good problem to have. Anyway I have a lot of stuff I gotta get to so enough baby talk and more laundry and work and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!